So despite four years of the media telling us President Trump is a white supremacist who is literally Hitler, exit polls show he actually did better with every race and gender except for white men. Why do you think that is? Well, first of all, I think that it's become really obvious that the Democrats are screaming racist every time they don't want someone to watch what it is that they're doing. They just say racist, racist, racist. Uh, like, you know, it's sort of like one of those toys that you where you pull the string and they just keep saying it over and over. And I think that it's become really clear that they're trying to manipulate uh, minorities. And by the way, the, the radical left in the country has said this explicitly. There's a paper uh, uh, about socialism and strategy called socialism and strategy from about the year 2000, which says, hey, what we really need to do if we're going to foist socialism on this uh, free country is we're going to need to co-opt all of the women and all of the Hispanics and all of the blacks and use their energy for us. Well, you know what? It doesn't seem to be working. Exactly, because Marxism originally it was supposed to be workers of the world unite. However, that didn't necessarily go to Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, their plan. And so instead, you see the Marxists of the past couple decades, instead they're trying to unite people through race. And they're trying to use race and gender and sexual orientation as these divisive categories to break apart American uh, society and American culture. And so to your point, last night on election night, we saw uh, race baiters such as Jamel Hill and others saying that this is a, a white man's problem, that President Trump, we can blame this at, uh, put this on the feet of white men, and that this isn't such a, a, a conversation between Republicans and Democrats. It should be a conversation about whiteness. What does that tell you about the state of the left? They're racists, by the way. They're, they're, they're you know, they're anti-white. And by the way, you know, uh, as somebody who is Catholic, um, this is pretty familiar stuff, right? This is the sort of thing that used to be hurled at the Irish. It used to be hurled at Italian Americans. Uh, it, you know, it, it's it's not like we we haven't experienced this before. You know, perhaps it's new from this group to that group. But I got to tell you that it's pretty obvious that what it, that the attempt is to weaponize the tribalism in minority communities against America, against the United States Constitution against the country and to make money off of it, which is what, you know, which is, you know, Jamel Hill is a, is a race huckster um, and is basically out there as a, you know, as a, uh, a carnival barker uh, getting paid in order to rile, uh, to rile up people and increase the amount of hatred there is in the country. The country was better off before we elected a socialist as president of the United States, and we will be a lot better off if we don't elect another one. Exactly. And so what do you make of claims from Democrats, for example, when they look at the numbers and they see uh, President Trump uh, overperforming, outperforming with Latino voters, Biden underperforming, he couldn't quite get the same numbers that Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama were able to get. They're saying a lot of it was the effectiveness of the Trump campaign's messaging when it comes to branding Biden as a socialist or at the very least a Trojan horse for socialists. Well, you know, it's not just Trump's messaging, for goodness sake. It's Tom Perez's message, uh, messaging. The chairman of the Democratic National Committee said that the future of the Democratic Party was uh, was AOC. When the when you know the chairman of the party signals that the party is giving in to socialism, and by the way, AOC and Bernie Sanders uh, appear to completely agree. They embrace it. And and nobody pushes back on the racists that are burning down American cities. What are Hispanics going to think? What are blacks going to think? What is it? What are Americans going to think? Who cares about their race? What we really care about is the ideas uh, that bring us all together and, uh, you know, under, fr frankly, freedom based that is our rate. Uh, uh, it is our right based on uh, the laws of nature and nature's God. That's what the founders believe. That's what most Americans believe. And that's the way that minorities and all other Americans tended to vote last night. And, you know, I think that it's, it actually signals a bright future for the country.